the excretory system is not just about the kidneys and the skin. Numerous toxic substances are rendered harmless by a master organ called the liver. The liver takes an initiative in detoxifying the blood. Watch this video to know how it happens. In this topic, we will learn about the anatomy of the liver, the basic functions of the liver. The human body comprises many organs, of which one important organ is the wedge-shaped liver. It is situated in the upper right portion of the abdominal cavity. The hepatic bile duct emerges from the liver at the porta hepatis. This region has some major blood vessels like the hepatic portal vein that bring blood from the mesenteries into the liver and hepatic artery which brings oxygenated blood into the liver. The hepatic vein transports deoxygenated blood out of the liver. The liver is a soft reddish brown organ which weighs around 1.5 kilograms and is divided by fissures or fossae into four lobes. A sectional view of the liver shows numerous polyhedral units called hepatic lobules that are considered as the functional units of the liver. A magnified view of the section shows hepatic cells or parenchymal cells known as hepatocytes. These are arranged into lobules that are generally hexagonal structures having three portal canals that are the hepatic artery, the hepatic portal vein and the bile duct. These are situated at each corner of the hexagonal lobule. Blood from the hepatic portal vein and the hepatic artery is drained into the central vein and bile leaves the liver through the bile duct. Moreover, within each lobule, there are bile caniliculi and blood sinusoids. A closer look at the sinusoid shows the RBCs and some toxic substances flowing along with the blood. These toxic substances are absorbed by the nearby hepatic cells. Invagination of the cell membrane of the hepatocytes forms a vesicle which encloses the toxic substances. The vesicle merges with the lysosome which contains digestive enzymes and breaks down the toxins into waste products. These waste products move out of the cell and are released into the sinusoids. However, within this sinusoid, as the worn-out RBCs disintegrate, hemoglobin is released. These hemoglobin molecules are phagocytosed by the Kupfer cells. After a series of reactions, the heme molecules formed from hemoglobin get converted into bilirubin molecules. These bilirubin molecules enter the hepatocytes where it is converted to conjugated bilirubin. These are released along with bile into the bile canaliculi. A bile canaliculus is not a duct, but rather the dilated intercellular space between adjacent hepatocytes. The hepatocytes secrete bile into the canaliculi and those secretions flow parallel to the sinusoids, but in the opposite direction of the blood flow. This bile is transported and stored in the gallbladder. To summarize, the liver is one of the largest organs of the body. It is a wedge-shaped structure divided into four lobes. A lobule is roughly hexagonal in shape with three portal canals at the vertices. Sinusoids and bile canaliculi are integral part of the lobule. When toxic substances and worn-out RBCs present in the blood flow into the sinusoid, the toxic substances are absorbed by the adjoining hepatocytes and metabolized within them and the worn-out RBCs are absorbed by the Kupfer cells after destruction. Moreover, hepatocytes secrete bile which flows through the bile canaliculi and gets stored in the gallbladder. 
what happens when a person's kidneys fail. How do we doctors help the person survive until he gets a new kidney? Explore more videos to learn more. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.